Robot Nanny Nurtures Babies This is shocking. Do you have an interest in humanoid robots? Certainly, the introduction of robots has simplified the lifestyle of humans. Do you want to know more? If you're as curious as we are, keep watching to find out. Hello, tech nerds. Welcome back to AI Future Life, a versatile YouTube channel where we bring the latest updates on stock, science, finance, artificial intelligence, and many more important things. Before we proceed to our topic, subscribe to our channel and keep following us by clicking the bell icon. So without further delay, let's get straight into the subject. In today's video, we are here to tell you about Robot Nanny Nurtures Babies. The introduction of the new robot has somehow created hype over the internet. Well, all the details related to the video are going to be pretty interesting and you are eager to know as well. So we should start the video now without wasting any more time. Imagine the fact that there is a robot helping you out in doing your household chores and can probably cook and clean too. Ever since AI has started to develop, all this is not an imaginary subject to talk about. With the introduction of several robots like Nadine and Sophia, there is no doubt that AI developers are lagging in their field. And to help you out, there is an introduction of Robot Nanny, which nurtures and takes care of embryos in the artificial wombs. Let's get to know more. Surely, China is doing great at developments regarding AI, and this is a major reason why they have developed an AI robot which is capable of taking care of embryos in artificial wombs. No one would have speculated that AI technology will reach such higher areas of development. You must be shocked to know about this, but certainly there are millions of doubts against the robot nanny. Can we completely rely on it? Is this efficient enough? As per the sources, it is reported that many denotes some better results than that of human mothers. For instance, Chinese scientists from the Suzhou Institute of Biomedical Engineering and Technology have recorded results regarding the efficiency of the robot nanny and concluded that this robot is highly efficient, but the trials on human embryos are yet to be conducted. Even though the trials had yet to be conducted, the scientists are pretty much confident regarding their newly built system. You might be keen to know how the robot nanny works. As far known about the working, the AI robot nanny works by providing suitable conditions to the embryos present in the artificial wombs and monitoring them. The robot does this by adjusting its nutrition, carbon dioxide, and many other important factors. Also, the artificial room consists of seven containers with the nutrient mixture, and further, the embryos are placed. But how does this artificial intelligence robot track the condition of embryos? It is stated that the AI robot Nanny is known to monitor the embryos around the clock and provides ultra-clear images through a series of sensors and lenses. This isn't all. The robot Nanny will certainly keep track of temperature, air supply, water, and nutrition in real time. By all means, if Robot Nanny gains major success, the issues regarding embryos will get resolved, and further the burden on humans will get reduced. We do not know the exact motive or reason why China has a major interest in developing a robot nanny, but some reports have suggested that Suzhou Institute researchers have developed this robot nanny to bring back the decreasing birth rate in China, which has pretty much fallen up to its lowest in the last 60 years. China is certainly very discreet regarding its developments, and this is pretty much another reason why there are some mixed opinions regarding the development of the robot nanny. In another study that was published in the Journal of Biomedical Engineering, scientists revealed that an AI system ranks embryos based on their potential of development and also further claims that they have run tests on embryos of animals. As of now, the international laws currently prohibit experimental studies on human embryos beyond two weeks of development. This states that for RoboNanny to gain success, there is a requirement of change in laws in China and surely looking forward to it. If all this is true, there is no doubt to presume that artificial intelligence will take over the world in the near future and will serve as a major boon for humans. Another research stated that there are many unsolved mysteries about the physiology regarding the typical human embryonic development. With the ongoing developments of artificial intelligence robots, along with the introduction of the latest Robo Nanny, it would be easier to get to know about significant research, especially regarding the origin of life and embryonic development of humans. Further, it will help resolve the issue of birth defects and other major reproductive health problems. If you are thinking that Robot Nanny is the first time scientists are experimenting with embryos, you are wrong. You might feel delighted to know that for many years, scientists have been consistently experimenting with embryos for a breakthrough. 
The scientists from the Salk Institute of Biological Studies in California had conducted an experiment to grow human stem cells within a macaque monkey embryo and further aimed to study cell communication and harvest organs for donation. Luck wasn't in favor as the embryo got destroyed 20 days later because the experiment's ethics were challenged. The introduction and launch of Robo Nanny quite resembled the mechanical nanny described in the short story Daisy's patent automatic nanny from the 2019 collection Exhalation by Ted Chiang. You probably find it resembling too in this story. There is a child which is raised exclusively by an automatic nanny and further growth to being incapable of interacting with humans. No one can provide a concrete fact regarding the future of robot nannies. This is because of many factors which are affecting the case. When looking through the aspect of robot nanny in terms of taking care of the embryo, the robot nanny suffices all the conditions. With providing enough nutrients to nurture the embryo, China's robot nanny claims at doing it all. But certainly, these reasons aren't enough to speculate solid facts regarding the future of the robot nanny. This is because the technology is still very much in the nascent stage in China, and the fact that China's population is slowly degrading surely concludes certain doubts regarding it. By all means, the development of the robot nanny is great, and we are surely looking forward to its major success. You might not be aware of the fact that surrogacy is banned in China. This concludes the fact that artificial wombs are unlikely to be used in China any time in the near future. This is because it will further turn a hospital or a laboratory into a mother under Chinese law. Even though the thought of taking care of embryos inside an artificial womb with the help of a robot nanny seems great, putting it into mass production and combining it with the ranking AI sounds more like a dystopian development. But when doing things in the right way, it could serve as the most beneficial development. The idea of artificially producing human infants doesn't seem any near to success. By all means, it denotes some major benefits. While looking at the process of children being traditionally born, it is surely one of the most unpleasant procedures. And with the development of technology, along with the launch of robots like Robo Nanny, might potentially help mothers who want to have children but seem to be presently incapable of doing it without the use of a human surrogate. In addition, the world's population along with the fertility rates are plummeting at a high rate. For the same case, such launches and development of AI technology will possibly benefit humans massively. Everything holds some major pros and cons, and the same case implies the development of AI robots like RoboNanny, which concludes that parents of the future can rejoice. For every development, there is a risk factor, but without its possibility, there would be no further developments. Childcare is one of the most intimate and major activities. There are often circumstances when we fail at protecting them, and the cases for taking care of embryos is quite a major subject to look at. Robots, corporations, and other legal or non-legal entities do not possess a similar nature to humans. But since the development of AI is at a high pace, we can surely rely on them in the near future. Also, with the development and introduction of RoboNanny, Chinese researchers have proved that technology could be used safely for the development of embryos. Although there are still some legal obstacles in place that would prevent it from being used on human fetuses beyond two weeks of development, surely it is speculated to gain major success. Well, this is all about Robot Nanny Nurtures Babies. This is shocking. What do you think about China's Robot Nanny? What are your views on it? Will it be a success? Do let us know. That's it for the day, guys. If you enjoyed our video, then do not forget to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that the next time we come up with more interesting AI stuff, you get notified right away. And we'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.